Meteorologist Jeremy Luan now joins us from the backyard with more about this warm weather. Chelsea, I think we could approach, if not exceed, record high temperatures across a lot of the region tomorrow. We're going to have temperatures surging up into the mid 80s, the first time we've seen 80s since last year. We haven't seen 80s yet in 2024, and this will be the first day coming up tomorrow. For almost all of us, we'll see 80. But, you know, it feels like springtime today. Tomorrow it'll feel like summer, but it still is spring as far as nature is concerned. Let's show you some photos from our viewers. This one is from Becky in West Pittston, and today I know it was the cherry blossom festival in Wilkesbury. So uh, Becky, not too far from Wilkesbury in West Piston, beautiful photo there of her cherry blossoms in Luzerne County. And this is a view from Orwigsburg. This is from Kelly in Schuylkill County. Her cherry blossoms, a different color, but still just as beautiful and a different shape too. I love the variety that comes in through the WNEP page. Remember, you can submit your photos here to, through the Near Me section on the WNEP app anytime you want me to put them up in the news. This is a great way to showcase the beauty across central and northeastern Pennsylvania. And thank you for sharing it with me so that I can share it with all the other viewers. Here's a view right now from Pottsville. We might see some fog developing in our valleys tonight. We have low winds and and really high humidity up to 93%. So that might allow for the production and development of some fog. 65 is the current temperature. We had a high of 82 today and we're still in the 60s across a lot of the region. 62 for Sealands Grove and Danville, 66 for Lewisburg, 60 for Lopez, also 60 in Starucca, 61 for Lake Harmony and 64 for Lee Height. And those temperatures were anywhere from 11 to 23 degrees warmer there than 24 hours ago in Frackville. And earlier today, I saw this map around six Six o'clock. We had temperatures that were 30 degrees warmer than we were at six o'clock yesterday. So pretty warm day today, and it's going to be warmer yet tomorrow. Got up to the 80s in Avoca today, 82, but the rest of us didn't get up into the 80s. Uh, Williamsport, 78. Sealands Grove, 76, 77 for Mount Pocono. So tomorrow is the day that we're all going to see 80s for the first time. But today we did hit 80 in Avoca. 82, in fact, for also State College. So this is the current radar view. We do have rain showers that just move through uh, the northeastern section of Pennsylvania. I want to show you a closer view, but on a six hour time loop. So you can see how these storms really develop, popped and then moved towards the south and east. They were short lived. We saw some quick downpours and we're seeing just one last shower now exiting the border between Pike and Monroe counties. It's going to continue its way into New Jersey, maybe just a few lingering sprinkles around Mount Pocono and Stroudsburg. This is the larger picture. All that severe weather that's bringing deadly tornadoes to the Midwest is going to go up and over the Commonwealth. We're very lucky. We have a high pressure system sitting over us. High pressures cause sinking air. And of course, with sinking air, you can't have a lot of clouds developing because the clouds require a rising air. So with this high pressure of us, it's, it's going to steer a lot of this severe weather up and over. But there are still alerts in effect. We have uh, tornado watches in effect. there still for Louisiana, northern Louisiana and eastern Texas. Those yellow uh, shadings and the green shadings indicating a flood watch. We're not going to see any of that severe weather. We might see a spot thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon and evening and then again on Thursday, Tuesday, but I don't think they're going to be severe on Monday night. They might have a severe characteristic to them on Tuesday and we'll be tracking that very closely. But as far as tomorrow goes, I think we're going to remain mostly clear especially to wake up tomorrow. Lots of sunshine to start the day. We might see those showers and thunderstorms pop in the afternoon after we had all that heating up into the 80s. It's going to allow for a lot of rising air in the atmosphere despite that high pressure in play. And we might see a few storms pop up in the northern tier. And I think that would happen anywhere between 5 and 8 o'clock. I don't think they're going to turn severe. I don't even think they're going to have any rumbles of thunder or any uh, flashes of lightning. It's not until Tuesday afternoon that we might see a line of showers hours because it will be enhanced by a cold front that's moving across the Commonwealth. Here you can see those uh, breaks of yellow and orange. That's indicating heavier downpours possible, maybe even a thunderstorm too. But I really don't think they're going to have a severe characteristic. It's a very low probability, very marginal risk. But we do have th threat for some storms on Tuesday afternoon and a spot shower on Monday evening. Otherwise, we're going to remain primarily dry. There are your possible high temperatures into the 80s for nearly everybody. 86 is the record high temperature for Williamsport. We might hit 84 tomorrow, and that's just one degree shy of the record high temperature ever for tomorrow. Set back in 1974, we would be breaking Chelsea a 50 year record if we do get above 85. There's your seven day forecast. I'm only forecasting 84, but still that's near record high temperature staying in the 70s all week next week. And we're tracking those storms that will pop on Tuesday afternoon. Otherwise, any of the other storms we're seeing Wednesday morning and Friday afternoon and evening. Those are probably just going to be showers, not storms.
All right, and next weekend, West Pittston does have its own cherry blossom festival. There you go. So hopefully those cherry blossoms stick around for another I hope week. so. Is it, Tuesday, is it both Saturday and Sunday? Uh, I don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, because Sunday is the better of the two weekend days All as right. of right now. Good to know. All right, Thank have you, a great Jeremy. week, Chelsea. You too. We'll be right back with